Hi and uh, welcome to this demo. Uh, we are going to show you a small environment rendered in a DirectX, uh, DirectX 10 engine. Uh, my name is uh, Stefan Johansson. I'm the graphic artist on this project. Uh, Simon Bratel is uh, the programmer and is of course therefore responsible for programming the engine. Uh, the main feature of this engine is uh, its real-time global illumination. Uh, so let's uh, let's have a look. Uh, I think the first thing you will actually notice is this uh, this uh, wandering light. You can see the wander along the ceiling. Uh, that is because we have an uh, animated light source. We choose to have an animated light source because uh, we thought this was a good way to to show uh, visualize that this uh, global illumination uh, was calculated in real time. Because uh, global illumination and radiosity, it has been present in games earlier, although it has been um, uh, pre-baked, uh, pre-calculated. Uh, it uh, it has been baked into vertices, rendered into textures, or into shadow or light maps. But this uh, our version is uh, real uh, calculated in real time, so that's a new thing. Uh, I'm gonna just check out all the values. It's okay. So let's get moving this room. Uh, we have a closed, uh, as you see, it's a closed environment. Uh, we have made a closed environment because uh, when you introduce a small light in a closed environment, you're going to see a lot more things going on uh, than if you would walk around with a flashlight in a, um, outdoors. There's not going to be, there's not much surfaces where you can bounce light, so it's a, it's a very bad uh, very way to demonstrate. Uh, global elimination. Uh, so let's keep on walking here. Uh, the first thing you will notice uh, probably also when you get closer to these walls is uh, the warm tint that appears. That is uh, color bleeding. Uh, the bounce light will actually sample the color from the bounce surface uh, before it bounces on to the next one. So we will have color bleeding between objects. I'm going to direct or uh, point this flashlight towards this wall. You're going to see, now you're going to see on my left hand side, you're going to see this, uh, let's get closer, you're going to see this yellowish tint. Uh, that's basically because uh, it's reflected off the wall. Walking towards this uh, corner, you're going to get more red. Uh, that is, of course, because the lower part of the wall is, uh, is reddish. So, uh, we can actually turn around here and so watch uh, see. As an artist, uh, I guess it's my job to say something about the environment. Uh, it's a first batch of an environment. Uh, you, we had to try to play around a little bit with the engine, see what works. Uh, inspiration for it is uh, 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 old Havana in Cuba. It's all this uh, is old building with uh, a lot of decay going on. You have crumbling plaster, uh, peeling walls. Uh, we have a floor that uh, is, is rather dirty. And um, we choose to have just something to play with. We, um, it's quite random that we actually choose that one, this environment. Uh, it's quite sparsely furnished, but uh, I put in a couple of um, beds in this corner. Uh, I re recycled the same bed, just making small changes to it. Uh, just to have something to play with. Um, I'm going to walk up here. As you can see, there's not much detail here. Um, partly, of course, because it's uh, not a finished environment, it's just a test environment. Um, but also, you, as a player, you're not actually supposed to be standing up here. Uh, so, I guess it's very easy to criticize the detail in these normal maps. Uh, we have a feature so we can detach the lamp from the player. Uh, click free lamp over here. Now we, we can move away from the lamp. And it's gonna be, let's take away those menus, it's gonna be hanging where we left it, it's perfectly normal. It's a volumetric light source, it's actually bleeds through a little bit. Um, I should have thought a little bit when I placed it, but it doesn't really matter for this demo. Uh, see you have the direct shadow created, of course, uh, by having a light source uh, behind an object. You have the bed frames casting shadows onto themselves. Uh, all the objects in this environment uh, cast shadows on, the, uh, on it, uh, themselves. Uh, and of course you're gonna have this global animation leading up the room slightly. Uh, it's not that much uh, 
currently. I should have picked a better spot for it, but it doesn't matter. Uh, of course, uh, like if you look at this corner, for instance, uh, they're going to be much darker. Partly, of course, because you have the global illumination itself creates shadows, but there's not going to be that much light coming in between this bed and the uh, and the floor, so it's going to be darker down there. And that, in combination uh, with the direct uh, light shadow, it's uh, it's get a pretty realistic effect. That's actually how it works in real life uh, with indirect lighting and direct lighting. So, okay, uh, let's bring back that light. Uh, maybe should I should make a, a little bit slightly better pass just quickly. Uh, um, that was quite bad I did actually. Just right now, I'm gonna walk away quick like this and let's have a look. Honestly, uh, okay, maybe a little bit better. Maybe a little bit more cozy. But never mind. Um, for another time. Now in this corner, I put a couple of... Uh, Arbitrary props, the the barrels uh, overused and overexposed in every uh, FPS game that has ever been made, uh, probably. But there, uh, it is something to play with. Uh, first, uh, I could show you when I direct uh, point this flashlight towards the floor. It's you're gonna see how you get lighting uh, on these ribs uh, coming from underneath. That is, of course, because it's bounced light. Um, and I'm gonna show you the different components. Uh, if I put this light, let's say just over here, and I make this free lamp again, it's a little bit too much color bleeding. It's almost it's pretty miscolored, even. It looks dirty. Uh, two components is the direct lighting, and, and um, and of course the second component is indirect lighting and bounce lights of surfaces uh, if I would actually pull down this uh, direct intensity that's the direct light uh, that leaves us only with the global illumination and how it looks I can move around a little bit as you can see you first of all you have this yellowish tint very uh, a lot of it uh, on these drums of course going on like this and you have lighting at the back side, even though the light is on the other side because it bounces light also in this corner. And if if I look if I stand here and look at I pull up the direct lighting, you're gonna see the shadow coming up from the main, the actual real light source. That is this uh, the first component of the light. And this is how it can look. But let's bring back the lamp. Take away as many as. Uh, well, thank you very much uh, for watching. Um, that is everything I had to show this time. That's the current state of the the project. Uh, it's of course in development. Uh, the environment uh, is probably going to be completely replaced with something uh, much more pleasing for the eye. Uh, my artistic pride uh, it probably would actually force me to do that. Uh, but thank you for watching and uh, welcome back later for uh, an updated uh, demo. So uh, thanks again and have a nice day. Goodbye.